Sex in the office between consenting keyboard operatives was worthy of celebration. A new hair colouring might even attract the boss. Drinks tonight, Alice. I'll think about it, Roger. Yeah. How about dinner tonight? No, sorry, I'm already doing something. Sadly, if her employer responded to these stimuli, he could find himself the subject of counselling on the finer points of sexual harassment. Maybe next time, huh? At any rate, Mr. Down, if any relationship is purely professional, and if the woman doesn't like that kind of attention, then it's harassment. It could even be assault. One of the big buzzwords of the 80s was buzzwords. We never heard the word buzzwords before, but suddenly buzzwords became a buzzword. Another buzzword was sexual harassment or harassment. And, and that derives from Harris, the inventor of tweeds, Harris tweeds. So if a fellow happened to drop his Harris tweeds accidentally in front of his secretary, she deemed herself to have been harassed. A lot of people got complaints about it, but it never happened to me. None of the research assistants, hornbags, ceiling inspectors, or Girls Friday, who worked for Les Patterson, ever moaned about it. Well, well they moaned, but not about that. <laughs>